Solutions educational series. In this episode, we're going to be talking about PEX, PEX tubing. That's P-E-X. It stands for polyethylene. Um, there's lots of manufacturers out there, but there's pretty much two different kinds. You have a PEX B and you have a PEX A. They're very similar. Uh, they both have a 25 year warranty on them. Uh, they're chlorine resistant, they're scale resistant, uh, they, and they won't corrode because it's a plastic pipe. This is not going to rust or deteriorate over time. Uh, the other thing is they can freeze. We've had plenty of this stuff over the years freeze and as soon as it thawed out everything started working fine. We didn't have any leaks or any damage or anything like that. Um, it's, it's really good in holding up in, in cold situations. Uh, PEX comes in three different colors, red, white, and blue. Cold water and red for hot water. And we use the white for stubbing out of the wall because you don't want to see blue and red pipes poking out of the wall on you um, or behind a toilet or something like that. PEX comes in uh, sticks, straight sticks, which comes in 20 feet and 10 feet lengths. Uh, PEX also comes in rolls. 100-foot uh, rolls, 300-foot rolls, and 500-foot rolls. Uh, the disadvantage of buying it in a roll, now it is cheaper in a roll, but the disadvantage of it is it comes, it comes off the roll like this. It's got a, a memory to it. And this is kind of difficult to deal with when you're um, trying to straight run through a wall or something like that. So we typically use the sticks. Now we do use rolls on slabs where you've got to have a continuous run with no fittings or anything like that. So we do use rolls on slabs, but we prefer to use the sticks uh, when inside of a house running straight runs through walls and things like that. Uh, PEX comes in a variety of sizes, all the way from one quarter inch up to four inches. Um, both PEX A and B, you can, you can crimp them, you can use a push fitting, uh, or you can use a press fitting on, on both of these. Uh, all PEX, regardless of the manufacturer, meets uh, an outside diameter and an inside diameter uh, parameter on both A and B. Um, PEX is flexible. You're going to see in the fittings here, there's no 45s because you don't need it because you can, you can bend this pretty good. Uh, B is a little more rigid than the A. The A bends pretty easy and that's because of its additional properties. Um, PEX A does cost more than PEX B. The only big difference in this is PEX A can be cold expanded and we're going to go over that here in a little bit. But that's the basics to PEX. Now we're going to go into how to cut the pipe and our different methods of connecting them. Alright, now you're going to have to cut this to length and the way you do that is you're going to have to get you a set of cutters. These are ratchet cutters. You don't have to use the ratchet cutters. There's some simple ones that don't, they don't click like this. But there's a little round pocket right here. You're going to put your tube in there as straight as you can and then click, click, click and you'll cut right through that tube. And the simpler non-ratchet ones, you might have to give them a little spin when you go to cut around that pipe. I prefer these. You can use these ratchet cutters on various different sizes and it's nice to have a good set. Now let's talk about our crimp style pecs. In order to do this, you're going to cut your pipe off as straight as you possibly can. You're going to take your crimp ring, it's a copper ring, it goes on the end of there, about a dime's width is what you want to see of that pipe. You then push your fitting in, it's a ribbed fitting, it's got three big ribs on it, get that set right, and then you take your crimpers and you're going to crimp down on it. Now this is a two-handed procedure. And there you go, snap, just like that. When it's crimped, it leaves a little mark, a little edge from the tool. That way you know it's been crimped and you can't spin it or anything anymore. The thing we like about the PEX, especially the crimp style, 
you're ready to pressurize it. After you made that last crimp, you are you're ready to go. There's no glue drying, there's nothing like that. And these are a variety of the different fittings. Pretty much fittings are fittings. Uh, in PEX, you don't have 45s, they do have 90s, and the reason why is because it's so flexible, you just don't need that part. Alright, here is our cold expansion PEX. It's a little bit different than your crimp style. The, uh, the fittings have a large barb instead of three little ones. It's one, one big barb. Now, with cold expansion, you're going to have to have uh, a special tool. Now, this is battery operated. It's kind of heavy. It makes a lot of noise. Um, but what you're going to do here, same as before, you're going to try to cut a nice, smooth, clean edge. Uh, it does have something that resembles a crimp ring, but it's uh, just a slightly larger piece of this cold expansion PEX. It has three little stops in there. So it'll only go on one way. You're going to put that on the end of the pipe, and then you're going to insert it into the expansion tool. Now this thing, like I said, it can be loud. But you're going to get a good stretch on it, and you're going to push that fitting all the way in. Now, as we speak, this joint is compressing back. It is trying to return all the way back to its original size. And it doesn't take very long and then it's in there and it's not going anywhere. Our guys prefer the crimp style over the cold expansion because of the tool. Because this is kind of hard to get up in the rafters and move it around. It's a good system. Um, it's fast, but there is the issue with the cumbersome tool and like I said, our guys typically prefer using the crimp. All right, the next method we have is called the press. Now this is a different setup. These are different set of tools. They, they look very different. They do different stuff. Press fittings. Press fittings are already, they come together already for you. There's your crimp ring or your press ring uh, and your fitting. So it's all ready together for you. All you gotta do is cut your pipe straight, push it in there. There's couple little holes around this thing that shows the pipe so you know that you're all the way up on it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to line these up. There's a couple little, little grooves right there. And you can line it up and now it's on there. The neat thing about these are it's a ratchet style and I've got it at one click right now. You can't take this off. You can't open it back up. You're not going to pull that back off. The only way to get it off of there is to make the full press. Now, <laughs> two hands. And then it clicks, it releases, and there is your press. It's a good, strong connection. That's a stainless steel ring. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a hydraulic hose when you're done with it. Alright, now another method of connecting your PEX tubing is called a push fitting. And these come in all various different shapes and sizes. The neat thing about a push fitting is it's what they call a uh, copper tube size. So uh, a push fitting, you can use copper, you can use CPVC, and you can use PEX. Push fittings are great if you're, say, you're a service plumber and you're trying to transition over for some, some old copper or um, some old CPVC and you want to run your next little bit in, um, in PEX. This is a good way to do so. And they do, they do have a, a wide variety of these guys. They've got kind of like some little teeth inside of them, a little O-ring, a little teeth. that uh, That's what holds it together. But they're real easy to use. No special tools required here. You're just, you're gonna, there's a little sleeve in there. You're gonna line that sleeve up and you're just gonna push. Boom, there you are. Ready to pressure us. It's really neat, it's a really neat thing. Um, the other cool thing about this 
is they're removable. Now they used to have this little donut thing you could push down on here to pop that out, but now they've got this really neat tool and you just put it on there, push down, and that pipe comes right out of there for you. It's a really neat thing. What I like about it is that these caps, if you ever have to make a repair or something, you just need to cap it off temporary, you can use this cap and when you're done, you pop it apart and you put that back in your toolbox and use it later on. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching this episode of Plumbing Solutions Educational Series. There will be more videos to come. We're going to cover some things, some other things that we didn't cover today, which is some of the older stuff that's still out there, still widely used. Um, but we're going to get to this stuff in another video, and we're actually going to go and um, show some sweating in the field and uh, how you glue this stuff together and everything. But thank you, and uh, I hope you see our next show. Thank you.